Hey there everyone, this is Roar again, bringing you guys another audio commentary. This one's going to be against Hulk, or Huck, the Blue Protoss, sorry about that, versed Murder, our Purple Terran. This is the Fisher's Open Cup, and it's round five. I think there's well, there were six rounds in this one, so this is the, to determine who's going to go to the finals. And here, as you can see, we are on Metalopolis. This is going to be a best of three, so we'll see how these two players fare off. And... Uh, Nothing too important going on here. I would like to mention that the top 200 did come out. Huck still is keeping his stronghold in the first place in the U.S. And then Murder actually moved up to 11th. So congrats to Murder and congrats to Huck. Both awesome players. This should be a great best of three here. Um, Huck is going to go and scout in the proper direction. He's going to go and find Murder here. Cross positions. Murder is going to go for his regular supply depot build here and go down for his barracks. And uh, if you saw his last video, he does have a new strat that he's bringing out for Protoss, and it's working quite well. And here we go, Huck is doing his little probe micro here, and he's uh, really great at it. And it, he actually ends up getting hit there, but he's usually pretty good where he can regen those shields without losing much. So uh, right now we just have this probe being chased around as he's trying to zap some of these SCVs low of health. Uh, he's getting a bit unlucky there. Uh, those SCVs are getting constantly on him, so those shields don't regen. And he's just trying to apply some pressure, and he's doing quite well being chased down by this SCV. They're both dancing around. Uh, very cute stuff. And uh, there we go. They're going to start fighting again. And it uh, looks like Huck's going to go this gateway build with an assimilator. I'm kind of curious to see if he warps an AZ lot to try to get into this line here to do some damage. Uh, he's known for doing that. Um, it doesn't really look like he has a lot of low SCVs, though, so I'm not really sure if he's going to want to do that. He only really has two low SCVs, so I'm going to assume that he's not going to go for that uh, option. And, uh, yeah, both players just playing pretty strong. We have a pylon right here. I guess it's just a spotter pylon, or if he wants to hide any tech. And we're having a tech lab here, so Murder is going to go for that little Marauder push that he's been perfecting here. So, we'll see how this turns out. Very low probe, and our Marauder is on the way. Once we hit that 50 gas, Murder will be researching concussive shells. And here we are, we have a cyber core. There we go, concussive shells up, cyber core is coming up. And we have two gases here, so we're not going to see a little Zelot push. And we're going to go gas heavy build here. Um, Huck is well aware that this Marauder push is coming. He saw that tech lab, so he's going to go and get out some stalkers, and that's why you see this two gas build coming. There we go. Second gateway goes up for Huck. He has this uh, tower marked out, which is pretty important here. He's going to be able to see any type of expansions go down, or if anything's trying to sneak by him to expand in these general areas. And we are having second barracks go down, and it looks like uh, Murder was scouting around the area, which is very, very smart to do don't want any proxy pylons in your base, a bit slow to lose too, and it's a really, really annoying once they get in your worker line. So we do have that probe streaming across. He scouts these two marauders coming in, and now Huck is going to have to prepare for this small push that Murder is planning on doing. And our first stalker's out, and a chrono boost on a sentry here, so nice job. Sentry's going to be the right choice here. He's going to be able to wall off that ramp and keep these marauders out from doing any significant damage. And you can see he's just kind of backing away these units. He wants to get that sentry out. Murder's backing up his own units. He doesn't want to get too caught up in there and get caught up by all these um, units. And he wants to wait for that third marauder to come in to actually deal some really, really good damage. So the both players are just kind of chilling out right now. That sentry's up. He's going to be able to wall off this ramp. Murder's a big late. He's calling out lag. Um, Huck is calling for people to get out. And here we go. We are having a push coming. And uh, one Z-Lot goes down, a probe's going to go down, we have a robotics facility up, we have two gates go up, we have more Z-Lots coming in, and uh, more and more micro, and... Oh, nope, I thought for sure that that Zealot was going to fall, but it's not the case, and Murder has a bad rally point here, and he's actually going to get the Z-Lot, but at the cost of losing a four Marauders, so a probe, and two Z-Lots die, two four Marauders. Um, he could have probably microed that better, a lot better. But, you know, you get unlucky, and here we go, that starport's already coming up. He's going to go and get a bunker down just in case Huck tries to um, go and counter here, which is a very good uh, option. I mean, his warp gates are up. He's going to go to B, start spamming in units like crazy. Robotics facilities up, and there goes that observer being warped in. Perfect timing here. 
and starport's almost up so that observer is going to be really really early he's going to go to see the tech lab switch and everything and it doesn't even look like murderers preparing to do a tech lab switch there's nothing on this factory here so a bit confusing I guess he's going to throw it down on his starport rather than the factory so no switch coming up unless yes it looks like he's actually going to switch it with the barracks so he, it seems like he forgot to do it with the factory so he's going to have to switch it with the barracks here and we are having a tech lab go down on this bunker now and we are having an expo go up cloak is being researched first banshees on the way and this observer is going to be well aware of it it's going to fly on in and uh, let's see if we get a scan off to kill this observer um, does not look like it's going to be the case here we have uh, Stimpak being researched I'm surprised we're not seeing this factor be used as a scouting and we're having a counter expo go up we have lots of stalkers we're going immortals and it looks like these stalkers are chilling in the base simply because he knows banshees are on the way Huck is a very good player he knows when, when what he scouts when he scouts it twilight counts are coming out probably gonna see some charge slots coming just to get up in the face of all these bio units and first banshee is on the way kind of curious to see if Huck saw where it went I'm assuming he did and he has plenty of stalkers prepared to deal with this threat and we have a lot of sentries, Z lots up here the only thing I don't like about this play is he, his army is so split up I mean he can see when murder is going to push out and uh, he can probably assume that this army can deal with murder pretty well but either way it's going to be a bit annoying to deal with it and yes stalkers are very well aware and this banshee is only going to get a few shots off and it's going to go and cloak oh nice cloak there so a cloak is up and he doesn't have an observer up but there he goes look at that observer almost at perfect timing he's going to get like four or five probes probably there we go five probes go down banshee goes down uh, decent trade off I mean it was well worth its money as you can see here 150 100 and that was five probes so 50 per probe we have our new other banshee up now. We are having our expo go over. Salvage is the bunker. Charge slots coming up. Shields coming up. More marauders pumping out. And uh, murder's looking like in pretty fine shape here. And Huck is just really just playing defensively right now, wanting to get up his tech, making sure he has the advantage that he needs. And it looks like he's going to go push out. So he's feeling uh, pretty confident here. And Murder needs to be careful. He has no idea what's coming. And he goes ahead and engages anyway. He's going to stim up. Uh, Sentry pops the force field in order to reduce range damage. And here we go. We're having great um, battles going off here. The Marauder ended up getting caught in a shield. That was a bit goofy. Oh, and Huck's units are a bit getting a bit caught up here. And Mar Murder is going to take uh, full advantage of this. He stims up. He's going to chase down some more units. He's probably going to get a few more of these sentries here. Yes, he's going to get like all of these sentries just about. And Huck is being uh, put back here. Stim does wear out, but I mean, really, he's in great position here. And I don't think Charge is even done. So he pushed out before Charge was done, which is a bit surprising. Charge finally comes up. He's in a better position now. Probes are being pulled off the line. Pro pro probes are going down. And uh, Murder's just playing really, really well here. He's drawing these uh, probes off the line, which is just going to give him a great advantage here. As you can see, we already have 45 SCVs to 29 probes. And I mean, we could have a counter push come on here, but. Uh, he knows very well that that's not going to happen. He's going such a marauder heavy build. He's going to have more banshees up. He's just a lot of units with a lot of DPS. He's having three barracks, pump out units. He has uh, lots of um, mules coming, and he's really just taking advantage completely. He's having three more, four more barracks come out. That's going to be seven barracks total. Jeez. He's really preparing for a uh, heavy marauder build here with banshees. So it's going to be quite nice. Uh, really only the thing that I think would counter this perfectly would be Void Rays and we are having a Templar Archive come up so we're going to go some uh, Side Storm sorry I missed that but it looks like we hit a Banshee try to sneak in and Huck did very well to stop that Banshee from getting anywhere so Banshee wastes its life for nothing poor guy more sentries are coming in uh, ideal force fields are just really really great wind splitting up these Marauder forces looks like we're going to have another small engagement here Stim goes off and there we go look at those that's great shields they're not going to be able to back away and keep shooting and uh, yeah murder did not come out on top there at all the shields did perfectly I mean really that's only the small gap he could squeeze through Marauders got caught up in pathing and they uh, did really well and looks like we're going to have some marines come out now to add to the DPS of these units 
temp or uh, sorry, high templars are down, and we don't have storm researching yet. So he went high templars before getting storm. Looks like he's going to try to do some feedback on these banshees. It's the only thing I can think right now before he actually starts researching storm. He has enough, and there we go. Storm's going to start researching. Gets chrono boosted. Two more gateways going down, and more immortals are coming up. So right now both players are just playing pretty defensively. I mean they've had a lot of engagements here. And it looks like we're going to have another small engagement coming up. But none of them are really getting to like a max max type army. And we're going up against 89 to 120 food. Banshee goes in first. Cloaks. Great shield once again splitting up that army. And uh, Huck's going to be in some trouble here. Uh, his forces are dwindling away. Um, I think the only thing that's going to really help him right now is Storms. But I mean once again he's just doing really really well here. He's losing more and more pros. We're having Stim Kite now with these uh, sentries having no no uh, no energy for shields and uh, charge lots come in they're going to be able to deal up with this small army so Huck survives this push very surprisingly nice job by Huck there using those shields perfectly to split up the armies and uh, looks like oh geez murder already has more reinforcements coming back and he's just getting out his army so so quickly and it's just going to be really really tough for him here and then observer goes down so this banshee is going to be unseen Oh, nice storms coming in here on top of everything, and we're going to have these um, High Templars start morphing after they waste all their energy. It's going to go down quickly, though, to this Marauder focus, but either way, great job. We're going to have these probes be pulled off the line here, and uh, more and more probes are going down, and I believe, yes, more and more reinforcements are coming in for Murder, so Murder is just able to reinforce his armor very quickly. His Banshee is doing so, so much damage without that Observer overhead. And uh, Murder is focusing now. More and more probes now. It's not looking good for Huck. He needs to keep these probes alive in order to maintain this lead, or in order to maintain this game at all. And uh, Banshee goes down. Almost all the probes from this expo are dead. If we go to the unit counting station. We have 70 SCVs to 28 probes. He's just not going to keep up economy wise. And I really think Murder might be able to take this game with constant reinforcements streaming in. And yeah, that's just too much Marauders. Huck is going to call GG. This is game one in a best of three. Hope you guys enjoyed. Off to game two.